welcome back to Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And I thought I'd put together a little video just to let my subscribers know that yeah, I'm doing okay. Uh, still not out of the woods yet. Uh, still pretty sore, but at least I'm a little bit more movable and flexible than I used to be. I mean, it's been a week now. <coughs> And uh, took my first ride on a four-wheeler today, so yeah, I'm still sore, but I got to move around. Because if I don't move around, I'll end up getting stiff. But um, uh, yeah, Jim, I'm all right. <laughs> uh, guy that gave me the four-wheeler, uh, he. Uh, just texted me a while ago and asked me if I was doing all right. Yeah, I'm. I'm get. I'm better, but like I said, I'm. I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, still sore, and I, I'm uh, trying to do some work in the shop. Uh, not nothing really to uh, to video. Uh, somebody gave me a, a lawnmower. Uh, riding mower, John Deere uh, 115, and it's got a good motor on it. Didn't have no wheels or tires or anything like that on it. And the wheels, well, actually, the front tires was on it, and they were like this. So uh, they drug it around to get it up on the trailer for me and brought it. He actually brought it here for me, too. So dropped it off and day before yesterday and yesterday I was I started stripping it uh, they'd cut the frame up it was wrecked the uh, big bear and it was just like mine and uh, you know speaking of them big bears everybody says that them things are hard to find seems like that's all I do find uh, every time I turn around somebody's got one uh, and as far as I know, this is Honda country, but uh, most of the big bears around here are setting in people's junk piles or laying around in their yard. But I got it, and the motor, the, the oil drain plug was out of it, and the spark plug was out of it for a couple of years, and uh, I decided to just take the motor apart and strip it and sell all the parts out of it and uh, the rest of the stuff I'm going to keep uh, until I get my big bear my 4x4 four four going uh, right now it's still nothing but a frame and uh, the new one that I got that was junk uh, I was able to get the CDI box out of it and I hope that it's the right one, uh, or I'm hoping it works. Uh, it wasn't busted or nothing, so I would imagine it's probably okay because the, the bike was wrecked. That's why it was set in steel. Um, so I'll probably end up using the wiring harness out of the one I just got and uh, put it on my frame because... It matches the CDI box that I took off of it, and all the wiring's there. Uh, just one headlight uh, plug was cut, but it was both sides are still there, so I can just splice them back together and it'll be fine. Um, but I'll, I'm going to go ahead and build the uh, four by four and get it going at least in two-wheel drive uh, yeah I'm gonna put the rear end in the front and the CV axles I gotta get boots for it uh, so <clears throat> we're uh, slowly creeping up on grass cutting time and I'm not ready for that <laughs> I still got a trailer I'm I'm preparing to uh, start doing some demolition on it and get it down to the bare frame 
and uh, trying to find boards for it and Lowe's wants almost twelve dollars for a tube of six treated or non-treated neither one of either one of them's almost twelve bucks I, I just can't see putting hundred and twenty dollars in a bunch of boards so I'm gonna try to make a deal with my cousin and just use one by boards unless I can find somebody to make a deal with maybe trade off some work for boards I need 10 of them uh, to, to, to span across 54 inches and so far the only thing I can find is uh, there's a restaurant down here called the barn and he also has lumber he sells and I'm hoping he'll make me a deal on some boards but uh, I'm collecting stuff for it I've got the wiring for the brakes I've got the wiring for the lights I've got the lights the tail lights uh, the jacks are already on it and the only thing left now is the boards and we're still working on that. Uh, right now I'm in preparation mode, if you want to say it that way. Yeah, I'm sitting here holding a cigarette that ain't lit. Because I'm preparing to light it. just haven't done it yet. Like I need them, right? So all you cigarette haters out there, just go on about your business. I don't want to hear it. I know, my, I know what the risks are and I choose it wisely. Well, unwisely. <laughs> You want to get right down to it it ain't even healthy to breathe today so we're all in trouble <laughs> uh, speaking of in trouble uh, this coronavirus has really got things locked down around here um, I don't know what to say about that uh, probably best not to say nothing about it <clears throat> Uh, so I just basically stay home. Uh, today was the first time I went out, and that was just because I was—I just didn't feel like cooking. So I went up to Rec Exxon and decided, well, let me go on up to the barn. And I just basically wanted to get out of the house and get away from the house for a while. And drove down there and found they were uh, locked up because of the uh, coronavirus. And uh, then I noticed the boards he had. He had low, or stacks of lumber and thought, well, I'll just call him. So I'm waiting on him to answer me on the uh, boards. He's got to get a price. Hopefully I can make a deal with him. If he's got something he needs worked on, maybe I can work on something for him and get the boards for nothing. For a little bit of work. Uh, that lawnmower that I got, it's a, I can't remember the letters, but it's a 115 hydrostatic, and it's got a 19.5 engine on it, and he claims that engine's brand new. Uh, around here, brand new means it's 40 years old. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen people like that. They got something 40 years ago and never used it. Say, oh man, that's a brand new engine. Uh, but I don't know anything about it, but it looks clean and it looks like it's worth banking on. So, if you remember, on my Husky, I put a 12.5 on it to replace a 15 or 15.5 or 17.5 or something like that, I can't remember what it was, uh, motor, and I would actually like to get that back up to what it should be. Instead of the 12 horsepower, I'm pretty certain that the 19.5 horsepower uh, engine will work on it, uh, but that's not a, a chiseled in stone type deal because I might just take the regardless I'm keeping the engine 
Um, so I may be selling the rest of the parts, uh, the rear end, hydrostatic rear end, uh, and uh, just keep it as a spare. And then if anything does happen to the 12 horse, 12.5 that's on it, then I got a backup. Uh, but we got to make sure it runs first. And I really haven't done a whole lot of investigating on that tractor. So I don't know a whole lot about it yet. Uh, it may be as simple as put wheels on it, but finding wheels for it is going to be probably an expensive task. So if I got to put money into it, it ain't going to happen. I'm not going to fix it up. Uh, it's a hydrostatic too, and I don't like hydrostatic. I can't stand them. They don't have the power that a, a standard shift would have. And eventually, one day, I'm going to put standard shift on this tractor. Either that, or find me a tractor that needs to be rebuilt that does have the uh, shifter. I seen one today, but I didn't know about messing around with it. It's a huge, massy Ferguson, I think, or something like that. Uh, old school with the big square fenders and big square hood, big ass rear end. Uh, it's got the single single cylinder 16 horsepower engine on it that had the old generator type starter. So, uh, it's a horizontal, so I don't know if I want to mess with that. I'd rather find something that's got a vertical shaft on it, so that I can't never remember which is which, so make fun of me all you want. Um, I think horizontal is the shaft that comes out the side, and vertical is the shaft that goes from the bottom. I would like to find me an old tractor that's got the old shift rear end, uh, even if it's something to restore, uh, make good content for my channel. So, um, anyway, I'm just sitting out here relaxing after going up in the woods there, the four-wheeler, thought I'd take a ride on, on it, looking for some mushrooms, and I didn't see not one mushroom. Uh, of course, it might be a little too early to be looking for them, but my cousin went out today and said he was going to look for some, so I thought, well, why don't I just keep up with the Joneses? So that's what I did. I went and looked for mushrooms and didn't see a wand. And uh, I don't know what else to update you guys on. If any of you four-wheeler guys need some motor parts for a Big Bear, I've got a Big Bear 400 motor that I'm stripping down and all the gears in it's good, the clutches, all that stuff is good. Uh, crank, I'm going to take... I'm going to take the whole thing apart and sell everything piece by piece. So if any of you four-wheeler guys out there need some parts for a 400 Big Bear, uh, let me know. Uh, send me a message. Uh, you can look me up on Facebook uh, under Bob Mullins or Bobby e. Mullins. And I'm part of the uh, Big Bear, uh, Yamaha Big Bear group. So you can catch me there with the same logo. Uh, my Facebook has the same logo. And uh, let me know. Maybe we can uh, do some dealing. But anyway, starting to get a little dark on me. So uh, just wanted to keep you guys up to date. It's been a week since I made one. Uh, videos, so uh, I thought I'd sit here and chat your ear off a little bit. I swear people around here don't know what a muffler is.
I can't make a video without some loud vehicle coming by my house. And I think some of them do it on purpose. I think they know when I'm making a video. So, well, he's making a video. Let's just get loud. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. If you got some boards, send them my way. I'll take them. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good one. Later.